uh, our background is not hoteliers. I'm a lawyer by profession in, in London. Um, my wife, uh, she helps me with my businesses in, in London. But we came to Goa in 2003, um, almost by mistake. Our travel agent messed up a booking. We were supposed to go to Mexico. And last minute, they messed up our booking. So we ended up in Goa. And that was my first entry in Goa. And I loved this place so much that within two weeks, we ended up buying a small plot of land just next to a boutique a hotel called Lagoa Zoo. And uh, we had a villa built there. Um, and that was just a gamble on my part. I'll say, I'll just buy something here. Beautiful place, beautiful people. I loved the people, the hospitality that I received. And um, the, the following year, the villa was built, to my surprise, on time. Yeah. And that's not the reputation of uh, Indian builders, but I got my villa on, on time. And, uh, and this was 2004. And then we came back on a two-week uh, vacation, and uh, somebody showed me another piece of land. 12 acres, so, so we ended up buying that. And a lot of our friends said, look, I know, why don't you build some villas for us there? So he said, yeah, put your money on the table, and, and I will. So I created a team, and we built our first so villas, seven villas on the banks of the river. And then slowly, we, we said, okay, we'll build more flats or houses. He said, no, we'll build a three-star hotel, but the difference between three star and five star is only 20%. So I said, we'll go for five star, 42 room hotel, expanded to 82, and then 129. And today, we have almost 250 rooms at Resort Rio and Rio Royale. So we've been expanding on continuous. We're not hoteliers, but uh, in that sense, we write our own rule books in terms of how hotels should be managed and that comes from our experience in terms of traveling the world and we, we bring that uh, to Goa. We created a team, a fantastic team. Um, so that's that's the that's how the Rio group of hotels started. We almost got into hotels accidentally, I would say. Um, and then obviously this little venture here, Rio Boutique, which um, we started construction about three years ago. Uh, we wanted to keep it small. It was supposed to be 25 rooms, but we now have 35 rooms with, with banquet facility. Um, and the idea behind Rio Boutique is to, is to offer five-star facilities but at massively great value because the, the younger crowd, they can't afford to pay you know, eight or 9,000 rupees per night five-star hotels. Uh, they don't want the spa, for example. They don't want a uh, fitness center. They don't want, they, they just want a very nice five-star quality <coughs> rooms, facilities, a nice restaurant, a nice bar and coffee shop that they can relax, hire a motorbike, and go and explore golf. So that was the whole idea, and that's the idea behind Rio Boutique. So, so that, is, that is the ethos of the group. In terms of, you know, for example, we, we made a conscious decision not to buy our own fleet of cars. We have, I believe, three cars at the moment, just three, but that's where guests insist that they do not want to use taxis. They want a hotel car, so we have to give that. But on the whole, uh, we use 100 taxis in each queue outside. Um, our housekeeping, our Airbnb service is mostly Gomans. Uh, we have Goan chefs. Of course, we have to have, for example, North Indian chefs or, say, the Gujarati chefs because we have a pure veg restaurant. Now, you know, you, you can't have a fish curry thali <laughs> being served in our vegetarian restaurant. <laughs> so, you know, there are, of course, exceptions. Uh, our maintenance department, our plumbers, our electricians, they are at the goals. So. But I think for 
this hotel we are hoping to get our employees uh, one from Vera, the Vera area, so the local area. So it, it won't even be our core for the Vera area, we will try and offer them jobs from And that's the focus? That's the focus. Yeah, that's the focus. Now, obviously, um, the training can take place at the Zoprio, and we do need to have managers from uh, Zoprio to make sure that uh, staff, the newly recruited staff, are properly trained. Uh, but we are hoping that I mean, we are hoping to roll out this concept. Uh, so you know, the idea is that, you know, as they say, um, hopefully for the next say five six years, we ought to have another maybe eight nine boutique hotels in Goa, and our focus is only Goa. We are an independent chain. A lot of brand names have approached us in terms of management, but we've refused. We want to stay independent, because we want to write our own rules. 